Good evening, D Dijkstra here again. Another math calculus great night coming to you live from right here in this uh, room. Okay, so check it out. Optimization fencing problem. This is part two. So before we did a fencing problem where there was a fencing all the way around, now all of a sudden we have a situation where we've got a rancher who wants to build a fence that has two equal rectangular adjacents, but now there is a river, or maybe there's a building. Something is where the animals can be here and here, or whatever they're trying to corral. But uh, the, there's a natural border here, some natural border. We don't have to worry about building something there. So we're going to save some time and some money, right? We're going to let nature take its course. All right. Area, still, 2x times y. Perimeter, changes. Perimeter now is 2x plus 3y. So now we should be able to, with the same dimensions, right, with the same amount of material, uh, we should be able to increase the size because we have it, uh, uh, we, we have more material to work with, uh, or the same amount of material, but now we don't have to use it for this, uh, up, this upper side here. We've got the river to do that for us. All right, so Again, the total amount of fencing material was 1,200 yards. The maximum area is what we're looking for. So the first step again is to plug in and uh, start start working. All right, we have here oh my God. Uh, we start we have 1,200 is equal to 2x plus 3y. 1,200 again is our perimeter. Right? That's how much fencing we have. That's the perimeter of what we have. And so we subtract 2x. We get 1,200 minus 2x is equal to 3y. Then we divide by 3. We get 1,200 divided by 3 is 400 minus 2x over 3 is equal to y. So uh, as a result, we get 400 minus 2x divided by 3 is equal to y. All right, now I challenge you. What do you do with that? Pause the video, see if you can work out the rest of the problem and come up with an answer. All right? Well, let's find out if you're right. So check it out. We have right here, we take the area. Let's move this up a bit so you can see it. We get the area of 2x times 400 minus 2x over 3. We distribute this 2x accordingly, right? Because that's our area. We're maximizing the area. So now we simplify. 2x times 400 is 800x. 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x squared over 3. Then now we're ready to take the derivative. Take the derivative of 800x. That's just 800 minus 8x, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 over 3x, right, 8x over 3, I should say. Set that equal to 0, that's the next step. And we get 800 is equal to 8x over 3. And once we multiply by 3, we get 3 times 8, which is 2400. And we divide by 8, which is x amount of 300. So now our x length is 300. Okay, so if we go back to our picture, we now know that this amount of fencing, we only need 300 uh, units or yards of fencing here and here. So we have 600 yards long. So just imagine that's 600 football fields long. We now have an option to create just in the length of it. All right. Then we need to solve for y. We go back to our y equation, which was here, 400 minus 2x over 3 was y. All right, so we substitute 300. Well, 300 divided by 3 is 100 minus, uh, or multiplied by 2. So we get 400 minus 200 is 200. So y is 200. Now we can figure out our maximum area. All right, so let's do this. Here's our maximum area. Where are we? Come back over here. Good. Maximum area is 2 times 300 times 200. That's our x value and our y value. And what do we get? We get 120,000 yard, square yards of area based on 1,200. That's a pretty big factor. 
All right. So anyway, there's your area. That's what we've been doing. This is the fencing problem with a river or maybe a barn. Something natural is uh, helping us out here so we have a natural occurrence. All right. Hope that was helpful. Enjoy. Stop. Rewind. Enjoy. And uh, keep it mathy and love calculus. Talk to you soon. Have a great night. Peace.